All right, what's up, everyone? I've changed locations again. Finally settling back into our New York City apartment. The best thing about this apartment is the view. Here's the bedroom. This is where the magic happens. We've got Bo's crib here, and then here's Cleo's awesome room. Nice to be back in New York City. Let's get Cammy K on the line. Hi. Hi. Gordon? Neve, what's going on, man? Making a rare, a rare appearance. A rare appearance. What do you think of the new spot? Yeah, it's nice. A lot of Does room. It? It's very spacious. It's, it's a nice. significant difference from the last place. It's an upgrade for sure. Yeah. Where is your family? They're still out at my dad's house, so it just made sense. Like, I could be here. It's quiet. I'm not in anyone's way. We all got to work from home, meaning you so, got to go back to yours. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, we got work to do. Bye. Let's open the old email. The subject is, it doesn't add up. You oh, boy. Dear Neve and Cammie, my name is Allie, and I'm writing in to see if you can help my best friend, Brooklyn. Oh, perfect. I'm in Brooklyn. You can just go down the street. She and I both live in Indiana. This past winter, Brooklyn was on, here it is, plenty of fish. And she met this guy, Jason, who lives in Ohio. Jason seemed like the perfect guy. He's an EMT, handsome and caring, a good dad, and it wasn't long before Brooklyn was posting about him, making them an official couple. But she was ignoring big red flags. After all the dumb mistakes that I made. Jason never wanted to talk on the phone. He wouldn't video chat. And when they finally made plans to meet up, he canceled because Jason was so busy due to him being an EMT and it being a pandemic. I'm ready for a new heart. I feel like I'm an EMT is like the new, like my car broke down. I feel like people are just using that now. I know. To catfish people. Brooklyn isn't a fool. She told him that if they didn't meet up, she was going to have to break up with him. And luckily she kept her word. And Brooklyn recently met a new guy face to face who seems great. And I think there's a future for them. But Jason keeps popping into her life. He recently texted to ask how she and her kids are doing. Okay, so Brooklyn also has kids. I am concerned that Jace is going to keep Brooklyn from focusing on her new relationship. Can you help me prove that she's better off letting Jason go? Allie. Interesting. We always tell people, if they can't meet up with you, break it off. And she actually did that. Yeah. But can she fully commit with the potential of Jason maybe all of a sudden becoming available in the in the near future? Right, he's like, he won't let her off the line. <laughs> it's like catch and release, brother. Or get off the pot. Right, let's see what the friend Allie has to say. I'm grabbing a sweater, text Allie. Hey Allie, we just read your email. Join our Zoom. Oh, she texted me back, she said, okay. Oh. Hi! Hey! How are things in uh, Indiana? Oh, uh, just living my life, paying bills, and going to school. <laughs> Girl, I hear you. So how do you know Brooklyn? A year ago, I started working at the same job that she had. We became really close, hung out all the time, and now I'm over here every day. I help with the kids. How many kids does she have? She has four. And they're the cutest <gasps> little things ever. Whoa. Four kids. Why is she looking to meet other guys? What is wrong with her? You've done everything you need to do with guys. <laughs> no, you don't need any more guys in your life. I think that she just wants to find that person that's going to be with her forever. She wants to get married and have her whole life set. All right, so insert Jason. What do we think about him? <sighs> For me, I see so many red flags. Because, but it's uh, the situation is touchy because now she's got this new guy she's dating, right? Yeah, they just started maybe a couple weeks ago. He seems great and everything, but with Jason, she needs to know who this is so she can fully move past it because he still pops up every once in a while messaging, hey, how you been? How the kids? Da -da 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 -da. Right. You can't just keep popping up like that. Yeah. So did you talk to her about 
writing into Catfish. Yeah, uh, she wants to meet him. She wants to know who he right. is. Okay, so well, so what should we do? Do we want to bring her into the Zoom? I'm actually right down the street. Ooh, I love that. A pop-up. Yeah, so you're literally just gonna walk down to Brooklyn's house. Uh, this yeah. is great. Two houses down. Little surprise her. It's fine. This is so fun. This is the this is the most distance the show has covered all season. I know. This is very exciting. Show us what it's like <laughs> outside. Okay. Let's turn this around so you can see what everything looks like. So here we are. <coughs> Walk right down here. Is everyone supposed to wear masks? We're in such a small town that like we don't really have as much of a threat as like bigger places do. Yeah. Here we are. Literally right down the street. <laughs> wow. That was, that was easy. Dude, you will not believe who I have on the phone right now. Bok bok! We're here! Oh, it's here. Hey! What's <laughs> up, Brooklyn? How do you even have time to do your hair if you have four children? <laughs> I have a question. It's a, it takes a lot of practice. If you have a computer available... Yeah. I have a laptop. It would be good to switch to a computer just so Allie doesn't have to hold her hand up for the next <laughs> 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> wow. So far, everything about his story is so quintessentially catfish. Hey, Hello. all right, wow. This is much so, better. Okay, so Brooklyn, obviously Allie kind of filled us in on some of the basic plot points of your relationship with Jason, but yeah. Can you kind of just go back to when you met him and, and how the relationship evolved over the last year? Well, so I was on Plenty of Fish app and I had a message from Jason. I mean, we immediately hit it off. He was like the perfect guy. He was a hard worker. The way that he took care of his son, he seemed like a great father. We exchanged numbers and we texted every single day. We were constantly texting 24-7. He said, I love you. I mean, it was very, very serious. Like he knew things about me and he remembered hmm. them. And that was really important for me. And did you guys ever make plans to meet up? Um, I did tell Jason, you know, right about this time was when COVID started getting really bad. And he said that he was an EMT. He was like an essential worker. So he was working seven days a week. I was like, you know, I want to meet, but I understand like things are crazy right now in the world. And, you know, I'm going to, give you the benefit of the doubt to meet me. We were supposed to meet for my birthday, which was in the middle of May. It was like the week of, and he wound up saying he had to work. It was mandatory, he couldn't get off. And I decided that it was best that we just stop talking because I didn't want to be in a relationship with somebody that I hadn't met or that I hadn't had a chance oh. to. Yeah, like, like he wouldn't call me on the phone ever. <laughs> Can you show us some of the conversations you're having with him? Like, yeah. So this is the first time he reached out. So you only speak over text. Yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. But Jason, he has social media. He no. does not. None. Nothing. What? So that was another thing that I'm like, mm, I don't yeah. know. But he said that he just didn't like technology that much. Like he wasn't really in, he didn't really like to have all of it. But um, I did ask him to send me a picture with my name on a piece of paper because I was like, I want to make sure that you're, you know, this person. And I did get one. And this is the same one he had sent. Yeah, that is the picture. Yeah. I mean, it does look handwritten. The picture seemingly pretty convincing. But he's so friendly. He's a handsome guy, too. Could your kid's father have anything to do with what's going on right now? Um, I honestly don't think so. I mean, we get along great and he couldn't keep up with it, right. honestly. Is there is there anyone in your life that you could think of that's like pursuing you or had pursued you unsuccessfully? Okay, so in January, I was on the Plenty of Fish app and a guy named Carlos messaged me. I did meet Carlos in person once and we hit it off real good but he was living with a girl named Kara, and- And they were in a relationship? No, roommate situation. They're just roommates? Yes, but Kara had a best friend named Rio. And during the time of me talking to Carlos, I was getting a lot of harassment from these girls. Because they didn't want you talking to Carlos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. How'd you get caught up in this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's too pretty. <laughs> Thanks. 
Wow. Yeah. I was just, you know, like, this is a really crazy and everything that's going on, I think it's just better if we be friends. Um, so we kind of disagreed on that. But then Carlos and I continue to talk just as friends and that was pretty much the end of it. Couldn't Carlos be Jason? Maybe it is Carlos. Maybe he got upset at the fact that things couldn't work out, so he found a different way. Within two days of me stopping talking to Carlos, I did start talking to Jason. So, I mean, it was pretty quick. But and it's on the same app. Yeah. Would you be willing to forget about the guy that you're dating now for Jason? I like the guy I'm talking to. Things are going really good, but I really don't know what the future holds as far as Jason and me, because I did share a lot of intimate things with this person. At the end of the day, I want to know who Jason is. All right, well, so I guess we got to see if we can dig a little deeper here. Send us what you have. Let us do a little research. Hopefully, you know, we can find something. All right, wow. perfect. Allie, thank you for bringing in the big dogs. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thanks, Allie. Good luck. Bye. Woo! Woo! So, what do you think? You got a picture of his name, and it's just like... Ah. It looks legit, but, like, I do not see this Jason person adding up to what he's been saying. Are all these other weird people that were harassing her involved? I don't think so, because it's not like Brooklyn is still connected to Carlos, where it's like, right. let's keep her attention away from Carlos so that we can have him. Right. That's not even happening. Right, I mean, could Carlos be Jason? I'm just so curious. Brooklyn needs to be able to move on with her life, and until right. she finds out who this Jason guy is, that's not gonna happen. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!